Hey, my name is Lizzie Smiley, and I absolutely love helping people connect with their calling and all the tools they need to kick roadblocks and excuses right out the door so they can cultivate the life they dream about. If you want to launch, grow, pivot, or scale your Etsy shop, or you've always wanted to develop the mindset and skills to run your own business, then I'm your girl. I've had that entrepreneurial spirit going strong since my very first lemonade stand. And now I'm a work at home mama with multiple online companies and a full-time Etsy shop, all while being present with my kids for the everyday chaos and most important milestones. On this podcast, we'll talk about all things business, mindset, Etsy, creativity, dazzling our customers, and so much more. There's plenty of room at this table for you. So scooch on in and let's go. I'm holding nothing back. Welcome to How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome back to the podcast this week, you guys. I'm so glad to be with you, and I have a special treat for you today. I have a guest joining me for our podcast this week, and she is the queen of making passive income on Etsy. Her name is Anastasia from Anastasia's Templates, and she started her digital shop as a way to continue staying home with her son as a single mom, but still wanting to earn enough income to run their lives. She made over $31,000 in digital sales in her very first year on Etsy, and she grew her TikTok, get this, nearly 35,000 followers in her first six months on the platform. Insane. Now, she is a coach as well, and she is helping women launch a reliable, passive income on Etsy within seven days without sacrificing ongoing time and energy. Come join us. This is going to be an awesome conversation. Hey, Anastasia. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be on the show. I'm so excited to have you. I have like a little bit of experience in digital sales on Etsy, but you're like the queen. And so I'm so excited for you to share your wisdom and your goodness. I, after getting to know you a little bit the past couple of weeks, I'm just like super stoked for this entire audience to meet you. And I know they're going to love you. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to connect with everyone. Yeah, you have so much goodness to offer. So uh, this is all about you, ladies. So tell us um, tell us a bit about your story. I want to know, like, what's your background? How did you get into Etsy? What's the – give us the juicy stuff. Awesome. Yeah, so um, I have a little bit of a design background. I went to college for it, but um, I went to college for, like, graphic design, so packaging design, nothing at all digital. Digital was completely just a whole nother beast in my mind. Um, and so I didn't even start learning anything about web design or digital design until I started my own photography company. So um, I kind of went through the corporate grind. I really, I just hated it. Um, I didn't jive well with it. You know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Um, and so I taught myself photography, got into wedding photography. And that's when I started being like, oh my gosh, I need to make my own website. How do I even go about doing that. Um, and so I was doing photography for a couple years. Um, and then I became a single mom after I got divorced. Um, and I needed another stream of income because I was really big on researching, you know, how to be completely financially independent, because honestly, I didn't want to have to depend on anybody else besides myself raising my son as a single mom. Um, so I, what really stuck out to me was digital products and Etsy. I mean, I'd started shops in the past and they just kind of flopped because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I wanted to create. Wow. And um, once I found digital products, it just was like a light bulb went off and it's been so insanely successful. I just want to like preach it from the mountains that everyone needs <laughs> to jump on this ship. I love that you just said that you had a bunch of failed attempts. I didn't, I did not remember that about you. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I mean, I've been on Etsy, gosh, for years, just even buying things. And then I'm like, oh, well, people are selling stuff. Maybe I can do it too. Um, so I've done a couple different shops. One, um, I think it was a little bit over a year ago, I started selling physical products. I started selling soy candles. Um, <laughs> and oh my gosh, the shipping on that was insane. The time commitment on that was insane. And I was like, I just cannot do this being a single mom. So that's when I started brainstorming like, okay, I can't do physical products. I know some people out there can, but yeah, just yeah. for the time that I had and like the mental capacity I had after running after a toddler all day. Um, yeah, I switched to digital products and I never looked back. 
I love that you're saying this because I promise you there are like a thousand people right now who are like, oh, thank God, because I'm over here killing myself and I haven't mm -hmm. been able to get a shop up and going, but you're giving us so much hope. And I totally believe it about the candles because shipping is a beast, uh, having shipped something heavy. Yes. And then a I candle, know, you know, how, like how, well, we at least, because it was a large piece, we could kind of get away with a more expensive price point. But at a candle, mm -hmm. you've got at, at a certain point, you were just like tapped out, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I totally, totally get it. So that is amazing. So you actually already answered about um, selling digital products, which is my next thing. But then, I, okay, so this is really cool. So you don't just sell printables. You sell a higher ticket item. I love this about you in the digital space. Um, can you talk to a bit us a bit about what you sell specifically and like your pricing strategy? Because when I first looked at it, I was like, she's, this is for, first of all, this is a totally fair price, but second of all, she believes in her work and this is actually going to make her some real income on Etsy. A hundred percent. So I started out making strictly Canva templates. I was doing gosh, okay. Christmas cards when I first started. <laughs> um, and then slowly I just started adding things that I already had for my wedding photography business, um, contracts, pricing guides, things like that. But my higher ticket items that I transferred to are website templates. And like I said before, I had no experience designing websites besides my own little piddly like photography website. Um, so I had to like basically learn from scratch and I started creating website templates in show it and Squarespace. Cause those are the ones that I was at least a little bit familiar with. Um, and yeah, I mean, that is really what skyrocketed my business. I mean, people were buying the Canva templates, but you know, stuff is seasonal or it's such a low ticket item that you're really having to make a lot of sales and drive a lot of traffic to get to that monthly income that you want. So once I switched to website designs, it was just life-changing. Um, and my strategy on that is I always suggest anyone who's starting an Etsy shop, do your due diligence and look through everybody else's shop, see what the market's yes. doing. Yes. We both see preach this. Yes. Yes, because there is. I mean, just like you said with candles, there's a cap on, you know, whatever item you're making on what you can charge on Etsy realistically and still be competitive. So I always tell people, you know, research what's going on in the market. And the way I do it, and I teach this in, you know, courses that I do in one on ones is you know, value your work. Because if you're gonna offer a website design for $27, it's all about the psychology of that. Like I personally wouldn't buy a website designed for 27 because I'm like, Same. it's probably not good. It's probably not good. It's just the psychology, even if it's the best one in the world, if I'm only paying $27, it's, I don't know. It's like if you go to the store and you see something really, really cheap and then something that's maybe like 20 or $30 more, honestly, I'm going to get the, the 20 or $30 more because it's a higher quality in my mind at least. Um, so yeah, my pricing strategy is I just kind of, uh, audited the whole market on Etsy for website design. And then um, I'm always running like a 50% off sale. So I okay. want people to be able to see that full price of, I mean, I know my, my website templates are worth that, but on Etsy, like I said, you got to read the market and the market is, you know, probably 50% of that um, because it's not like a specific company you're buying from. It's just individual artists. So I'm always running a 50% off sale because it's the psychology of the sale. I, I hope there are a million light bulbs going out on right now because I'm sitting here, I'm over here like, yes, like especially so many women undervalue, like they, they don't really know what their stuff is worth. They're not willing to ask for it. Like there are so many aha moments there about pricing strategy and like doing your homework and seeing what the market can support. I think you're a genius using a constant running discount, especially because it's a digital item, right? You've already created it. You don't have to go create it again. Exactly. This is money. All right. I hope you, I hope you guys are taking notes. Um, so a lot of digital sellers, they say they don't make many sales or, um, they aren't earning enough money from Etsy. And I alluded to this in your intro, my dear, because if you're just selling printables, how much are you going to make? And you have had, you had one heck of a first kickoff year. So I would love for you to talk about why do you think this happens? Mm -hmm. So I will tell people this time and again, this seems really simple, but it's probably the biggest thing that you're going to find an issue with. So there's two main things in my mind. Um, and I, I teach this in my trainings as well. Um, the first biggest mistake is that first of all, people think that the market is oversaturated and they're oh. like, I'm not going to preach it. <laughs> it's the fee. It's 
plainly the fear of starting first of all um so many people come to me and they're like oh how many people are selling these templates online how are you making any sales because when I started some failed shops that I had, I was trying to talk to so many different types of customers with one template. And when you're doing that, instead of talking to all those people, you're literally talking to no one because no one feels completely directed at, you know, you're not speaking to any one person. So I applied this, first of all, to my wedding photography. I used to do families, boudoir, all this stuff. Um, and when I said, no, I'm only going to market myself as a wedding photographer. I was able to raise my prices to six, $8,000 a wedding versus $2,000 a wedding. It was insane because you're viewed as an expert. So my main thing is if you're going to start a shop, make, don't try and talk to everybody. Don't try and make all these different kinds of templates. Focus on one thing because mainly for my shop, I focus on photographers and coaches and that's who I cater all of my templates to. And it's worked out really, really, really well. Okay. We can uh, totally tell me later if you want me to cut this, but I want to go off script and I want to ask you if you can talk about why, because I think all of us, have uh, not all of us, obviously we've grown through this, but like so many people that I talk to too, they really deal with scarcity, right? And they're thinking like, oh my gosh, but like it could also work for this person. Why does it work better, Anastasia, to be really specific and to niche down? Like why doesn't that eliminate sellers? Why does it add it? Do you, do you have some thoughts about that? Absolutely. So when you're talking to one person, and you get in that mindset of who that customer is, you start creating your templates or your products specifically for that person. And when they get on your page or get on your product page, they can connect to that and they can say, this is completely done for me. I don't need to change anything. It speaks Ugh. to me. It speaks to my business. It speaks to my home decor style. I mean, whatever you're doing, they want to feel like you're only talking to them. They don't want to feel like, oh, well, if I buy this, then I'm going to have to tweak all these colors and all this copy and all these fonts and all these pages because they don't actually give me what I need as a life coach or as a moody photographer or a light and airy photographer. So it absolutely adds so much value because you're creating a complete product for one person. It, that is so great. I, I could not have put it better. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. I think that's extremely valuable for people to hear. Okay, I'm going to shift gears and let's talk a little bit about um, TikTok because you, that's how I found you. You <laughs> have a TikTok following. So yeah. what has your experience been? How did you do that? And specifically, how, is it helping you sell products? And which one, like, is it helping you sell Etsy products? Is it helping you get the word out about your coaching? How's it working? Right. So I've honestly only been on, uh, not Etsy, but um, TikTok since I want to say maybe March or April of last year. Of 2021? Um, so, Seriously? Yeah. yeah. So not long. Not long oh, at all. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh I was frankly, I was so scared to get on TikTok because I was like, I'm not good on video. I don't, you know. Well, that turned out to be a lie because I actually like being on video now. Um, but I was so, it's that fear factor once again of even you are just, mean. Starting. People are, that was what I was so worried about. Yeah. And I cannot tell you how good of an experience I've had on TikTok where, Aww. I mean, there are every once in a while, but I mean, mostly people are so nice and positive and genuinely wanting to learn that it's been a great experience. So yeah, I've only been on there since March or April. So it's not even been a full year. Um, and within, I want to say the first two weeks, definitely first month, I gained over 20,000 followers. What? <laughs> Did you have a viral video? I don't even know the story. So yeah, so I I guess it's, I don't know what the metrics are for like what a viral video is, but um, it was like semi-viral, I guess. Um, so yeah, I basically, I got on there initially because um, I was in another coaching program. They were like, you need to get on TikTok if you want to sell more of your Etsy templates. And I got on there to sell templates. And then I ended up sharing my numbers from my Etsy shop. And women were just flabbergasted. I mean, they were like, how are you doing this? Please show me how to do it. And I was not a coach at that point. And I was like, there is a serious need for women, single moms, divorced moms, stay at home moms. I mean, women in general wanting to add another stream of passive income to the repertoire of our, what they're bringing in every month. And there's so like, there's a need for this knowledge. And so that's how I started sharing about how I'm running my Etsy shop. And that's what actually got me into coaching was people just purely asking questions on TikTok. And that's how my TikTok grew so fast is that they, okay, they love the templates. Great. I mean, I've, I've sold templates off of TikTok, but more so they wanted the knowledge on how to do it themselves. 
Okay. So do you have any like quick tips for people who are trying to sell their products using TikTok? Like what would you suggest they tap into or try? Yeah, absolutely. So what I heard um, from a previous coaching session was that you want to always have a hook. So if you're going to start a video, you always want in the first like 10 to 20 seconds have a hook. So say, are you a, um, you know, wedding photographer who's struggling to design your own website and you just want it done in a day and then go into what you're doing because you want them to know what the video is about because honestly, I ain't going to waste no time watching a video that I don't know (laughs) what it's about. So yeah, you want them to know what it's about, know that it's directed towards how many people? One, towards them. And you can make each of your videos directed towards a different niche or a different person, but always have it, it just like Etsy, always have it directed towards one person and then they're hooked in and they will listen to the rest of your video. So that's a big thing. Also make sure you're utilizing hashtags because TikTok is so huge for hashtags. Um, the best advice I started out using was three specific hashtags. So one is what your video is about. Number two is who you're talking to. And then just another one. Um, I always use like Etsy or Canva or whatever I'm designing, like show it or web design. Um, you guys, if you visit my TikTok, you can go through and see all the hashtags. We will link it. You better believe we will link it. <laughs> so feel free to steal all that. I mean, I, I'm an open book. I really, you know, anything you can find on there that's of value, please take it and please use it for your, your own businesses. So, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, I need like a coaching session from you on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been all about the podcast over here. So what other places, if any, are you promoting your Etsy products? Yeah. So um, obviously TikTok, um, I have built up an email list just from offering freebies. So I will promote stuff on there. Um, And then Pinterest as well. Pinterest has been phenomenal. I mean, I do not, I am so guilty. Like maybe this is just like the mom and me, but I do not dedicate enough time to doing it consistently. It's hard. But when I do, I have had almost a million views on my Pinterest per month when I'm consistent. Yes. Dude. (laughs) Y'all should see the video version of this over on YouTube because it's a whole different experience with my face. Yes. Uh, uh, my face too. When I looked at those analytics, I was like, that's almost a million people <laughs> this month. Um, and I can tell you exactly why. I didn't do anything like spectacular. I So I don't want to create more content than I have to. I took my TikTok videos and I repurposed them on Pinterest as idea pins. Okay, there we are. Yes. Idea pins. We've talked about this. That's where and are you seeing that translate to sales? Oh, a hundred percent. And I get so I get most of my sales off TikTok, I think. Like based on my analytics, that's pretty much where a lot of those come from. Um, but my higher ticket sales, like for my um group coaching programs and things like that. I've seen a lot of those come from Pinterest. They're like, oh, I found you on Pinterest. And then I found you on TikTok. I got to know you. And it's like, it's a great platform to not only regurgitate your content from TikTok or whatever you're doing anywhere else, but it's like a a like, know, and trust factor. So even if you're doing templates and you're doing videos about your templates or how you design or who you're speaking to, please get on Pinterest. Please do idea pins because, especially because it's new for Pinterest. So they're always pushing that in their algorithm. Do that. And then also once it's an idea pin, repin it as just a regular pin. Just get it out there. Yeah. Okay. That's so good. And then I wanted to jump back because when you said you're building your email list, where are you sharing your, like sharing that? Cause this is it's specifically for your product business. Are you putting that within your SD, Etsy listing, listings or where are you promoting the, the freebies? Right. So I um, had it in my bio links. I think it's still in my bio links. Um, just I, ha- I have like a Canva quick start or sometimes I'll have a show it quick start guide. And it's just like a, a couple page, 10 page PDF teaching like quick wins for Canva and show it to get people up and running. So I'll promote that on my bio links on Instagram, on um, TikTok. And then I also have it like in the top right hand corner of my own personal website. So if people go on there and they want a freebie, then they can click on it there too. Okay. So you're using social to, to build the email list, not Etsy specifically. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's amazing. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Perfecting Pinterest e-course by Sophia Lee. Okay, so I'm particularly excited about today's sponsor because if you use this resource correctly, you could completely blow up your Etsy shop with sales. No joke. If there was ever a game changer for Etsy success, it is 
Pinterest and learning how to master it. Before I tell you more, you need to know I have quite literally spent over $1,000 on Pinterest courses over the years, several thousand on blogging courses, and I learned a ton. Most of them were valuable. I don't have a whole bunch of regrets. But earlier this year, I was introduced to the blogger, Sophia Lee, who started her blog in college and has killed the game. Four years later now, she's earning 70000 plus per month, per month from her blog. I was intrigued. <laughs> so I bought her blogging e-course and her Pinterest, Pinterest e-course because A, I was curious about her strategy since her blog is so lucrative. And B, I could not believe how reasonable the price was. Like, wow, compared to what I have spent before, it was an absolute steal. I also have a blog in addition to my Etsy shop. And so I learned early on that Pinterest is the most powerful way to get readers to your blog. And it's one of the best free ways to drive traffic to your Etsy shop. So the reason I'm partnered with Sophia Lee today is because I went through her Pinterest course and it was out, outstanding. I'm not kidding. Outstanding. It was packed with so much value. I would recommend it to my best friend. I already recommended it to my mom who took it and loved it. And I have zero reservations recommending it to you either. So if you have not tried promoting your Etsy listings on Pinterest, which is some of the best free traffic you can get, or you still need to learn how to build strategy for Pinterest, I cannot recommend perfecting Pinterest enough. Sophia Lee built her Pinterest course to teach bloggers how to promote their posts. But what you'll learn directly applies to your Etsy listings too. In all the places where she is linking a blog post, you'll do the same with your Etsy listings. I feel confident you'll get a ton of value out of it. You can grab my link down in the show notes and check out the course info today. It's immediately available to you. And I am so excited to see what a difference it makes. Okay. So if someone is listening today and they really want to break into the digital passive income space, what should be their first step? Like how should they get started? Absolutely. So I would say, okay, so I know I have a course on this, but I know that's not feasible for everyone. I personally, I'm a graduate of YouTube university. I mean, it takes, it takes a lot of time because there's a lot of stuff out there that's fluff. So, I mean, I always consolidate my stuff in my course. It's a two hour course, just literally two hours. (laughs) to get it done. Yeah. Yes. Because I spent hours and hours and weeks and weeks of my life going through YouTube and learning all this stuff. I mean, there, Canva has every free tutorial about everything you could ever want on there too, but that again takes time. But there are so many free ways to learn this as well. So if you're starting out and you're wanting to create your digital shop, definitely open your shop. Like stop being afraid to open it, open it up, (laughs) get on Etsy, um, and then go to Canva and just start playing around because it is such an intuitive platform. I actually stopped using Adobe. I was like a diehard. I mean, I'm a graphic designer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I hadn't put that together. Yeah. So, I mean, I use Canva for everything. I was considering actually last week I got rebuild for Adobe and I was like, why am I using this? I don't even create very many like custom, I mean, unless it's for like website designs, I'll create some custom graphics if there's like something fun on there. But other than that, I mean, Canva is where I would create all my pricing guides and templates and stuff. So yeah. So um, for those of you who are listening, most of you probably know, but if you go to canva.com, it's C-A-N-V-A.com. It's just this amazing website where you can create anything. You can edit a photo, you can create a graphic image, you could edit your profile picture. It's just It has so many different, but I mean, literally you can also record a video in there. There are so many things in there. It's extremely user-friendly. So that's what she's saying to get in there and play around. Um, So I'm, I'm just going to like pivot here. I'm with you. I, so when I was younger, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, And when I was learning things, I totally just had to dig through the internet and find all of the stuff. And you know, there's a lot of it out there. It's true, but you are trading time for that. So the bottom line is like, you can probably learn all, not everything, but almost everything for free, but it's going to take you hours and hours and hours. And now I am totally like, if I need to learn something today, homegirl does not YouTube it. Homegirl buys a course like every Mm -hmm. single time. So I, I would say if you want to get into the digital space, you want to make passive income, you need Anastasia's course. Like you need to jump in on that 
or um, unless you have mountains of time, if you do, then you're going to learn a lot and experience a ton. And she would tell you the same thing. Like, no, there is something great about going through the YouTube university experience, right? <laughs> you know, but if you want to get down to it, if you want to save time, you want to get down to the, you know, the, the essentials of what you need to know. It's, it's a course all the way. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. If someone's already running a digital product shop, I do have a lot of clients who are already in this space mm -hmm. looking for ways to grow. Are, do you have maybe three tips that they could start to, they could use today? Like they're, they're already in business, but that could kind of maybe take them to the next level or kick it into high drive a little bit. Yes. My main thing that I want everyone to like stop, drop and do this right now is learn SEO. If you don't know what SEO is, it's search engine optimization because so many people think that, especially with Etsy, that it's just this pretty marketplace. You put up cute photos, maybe a cute template, and people are going to buy from you. And that's not the case at all. You will yeah. get no sales. I don't care how beautiful your template is, and you might get us one sale, but then how how is that repeatable? So what Etsy actually is, it's basically Google. It's Google for items and people, you know, buying different digital templates. So using SEO, not only in your shop, because there's so many places in your shop that are like little hidden gems where you can inject that SEO and these keywords to attract the right clients, but also in your descriptions, just in all of your tags that you're using, just learning how to maximize that in Etsy. That's... I, really why I attribute having so much traffic that and also using all of the different things on Etsy's back end, like Etsy ads, all their marketing stuff, how you can share on there. Just utilize Etsy to its fullest because you do not need to learn Facebook ads and all this other stuff. Like it's all on Etsy and Etsy does a great job. I agree with you. Okay. So number one, learn SEO. Yes. 100%. First thing, learn SEO, search engine optimization. Number two, use the tools already built into Etsy. Use their ad platform, use their analytics platform. And then did I miss the third? The third oh, thing? Uh, third, I would just say share. Share stuff everywhere. That's, I mean, yeah. it doesn't have to be complicated and gorgeous and all this stuff. I mean, use Canva. You can create, honestly, like 60 to 80 pins in maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, just from Canva, like templates. As long as you're not selling the templates, you are legally allowed to use them for your business. Just get a template and drop in images of your product and send them out. You can even schedule it on Canva too. Like you do <laughs> not need to get anything extra. Canva now came out with that too. So yeah, definitely share your stuff as much as possible everywhere you can. Amazing. 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 Okay. So um, you already alluded to this, but you have a whole course and you um, that you built to help Etsy sellers, especially in the digital space with success. So like what led you to move? You kind of alluded to this, but you may have more about moving into the coaching space. Like how did how did that transition happen? I know you're still selling. You've got it on yeah. autopilot, right? Your stuff is still selling in Etsy, but now you've got a whole course and coaching business. Right. Yeah. I mean, like I said, when I got on um, social media and TikTok, I initially was doing it just to sell my Etsy templates. And then when there was such a need and like such an outcry from women, like, please, I need to get out of, you know, a toxic relationship or I'm a single mom or, you know, I just want to bring in more money to the household, all of these different things. I mean, I was going through it too, because I'm a divorced single mom wanting to bring extra money in the household. And I was like, I can connect to you guys. It, bring, it co comes down to that one niche. And I was like, I just so happen to really fall <laughs> into this niche. I can speak from experience and teach people how to do this and how to do it quickly. So yeah, I mean, that's how, that's how this whole coach things started. And I got really passionate about it because I could see myself in every one of these women that was reaching out to me and they were just so desperate or so upset or so anxious about starting this or needing money like right now. And I was like, I can help you girl. I got you. Like I I'm an open book. I mean, I'm sure you can, you can, <laughs> you can tell, <laughs> but there's no secrets here. I'm, I'm just really available and really eager to share with women because it has been life changing for me. And I do not feel like by sharing these tips and tricks and secrets and how to, it's not taking anything away from me. There is room for everybody at the table. It, it comes back to people being afraid that it's oversaturated. It's not. If it was oversaturated and you couldn't make sales, I wouldn't be telling nobody none of this. <laughs> I'd be saving it all for me. But that's not the case. I mean, everybody has something to bring to the table and there's room for everybody. And so that's how I got into it. I think in there, so first of all, I, I'm just like over here gushing because that whole thing was 
perfection and I love it. Um, and you said something that totally sent a whole new hamster spinning in my head um, that we could really like emphasize for people listening about going niche and getting really specific to that one person. The reason that you really took off, I think one of the main ones is because you are connecting with the women like you. You went after the single mom really needing money, trying to get out of a toxic relationship. And someone could say, well, what about all the moms who are stay at home, homeschool moms and whatever? And like, they may still love you and come to you, but how many people you, you got really specific. So I, I mean, I'm just over here turning on that. And I'm just thinking about all the people out there, you know, if you're going to do TikTok to sell candles, why don't you identify with the people in your space? Are you the soccer mom who does this while you're doing the laundry for your kids? Like, you know, after practice because their stuff is stinky? Or are you the homeschool mom, um, you know, selling quilts and this is what you do while your kids are doing their reading hour? Like get really specific in your story. I think Anastasia is perfect proof of like that will bring, not only will it build your business and help people connect with you personally, it might even bring you a whole nother business because you're going to find out what those people really need and you have answers. So just, I'm just over here loving you. (laughs) Um, so (laughs) this has been so fun. I I, like never want it to end. So tell us about your course. Okay. Um, what does it cover? You have a totally different style and, and kind of subject that matter than mine. I have some, just so that people are not like getting confused. Like Anastasia and I had a conversation before this. We just like, don't have any scarcity. Like we're both in the same and we both have the same kind of job, but we both have a different secret sauce and Anastasia's 1 billion percent is passive income. (laughs) Uh selling digital stuff. And if that's what you want to do, like I touch on that in my course, no, her course is going to be like a million percent. She's the way to go for that. If you're making a physical product, you can check out mine, but she probably still could give you great tips. You should follow her TikTok. (laughs) So tell us about the course. Like what does it cover? What kind of results do you um, help your students achieve? Like how can people identify? Yes, that's for me. And I need to go do that. Mm -hmm. So it's called the Passive Potential course, um, which personally I love because there is so much potential for passive income on Etsy. And also, like I said, I ain't here to waste anybody's time. And I've consolidated everything that I've learned about Etsy and how to like I made over $31,000 last year totally passively on Etsy using what I teach exactly in my course. And my course is only two hours long. Um, So it's really it's very concise. It's video step by step tutorials. And I always tell people like this will grab, you know, a glass of wine or, you know, your favorite food and sit down. And all you got to do is dedicate two hours of this. Like you can do, I made this so you can do this while your kid is sleeping, you know, while they're, while they're down at night, once they go down, you can dedicate two hours and knock it out and get started. And I always recommend people like displaying the course on half their screen and doing it as you go, just so it's completely done at the end of the two hours. Brilliant. So my, Yeah. So my course will walk you through completely setting everything up, um, making sure you don't get banned because Etsy, it loves banned people. It's it's been crazy. I've had so many people be like, I don't know what I did. And I'm like, it's always something really simple that like will red flag Etsy. So we walk through setting up all of that, your shop, billing, everything. And it's got three parts. So I like to call it the passive product blueprint. So I like to make it really simple. So step one is strategic setup because I don't like to do anything if it's not strategy based and it's not proven and it's going to waste my time. So we strategically set up your shop. And then step two, I call template queen. Um, So that's funny that you you were talking about that earlier. Um, So it's showing you how to create your first digital template in Canva um, and getting all of that set up, how to do it legally, because there are like legal things that you have to navigate around with Canva and using templates and elements and all that kind of stuff. So we walk you through all of that stuff. We get your first designs up and running. And then the last part is called marketing maven, which I love because it's just getting the word out. And that part is really, really fun. I know the other stuff might seem hard and overwhelming, but once you've got that all done and just like spreading your templates everywhere and getting the word out is so much fun. So I walk you through all of that exactly how I do it, not only on on Etsy and using all of their back end stuff like sales and coupons and ads, um, but also through all of the social media platforms that I've had success on. So it's very all encompassing. And then I also give you guys bonuses (laughs) because I... (laughs) legitimately do not want you to waste any of your time. So it also has bonuses for, you know, not only making your shop pretty, I have like Canva templates that I've created that you can just make your own. I also have stuff in there um, that I like to call snag and sell templates. So it's templates that I've already created that you have to go in and just make your own a little bit, tweak it, 
download it and sell it on Etsy. So literally as soon as you get done watching this course and you know how to use Canva, you can start putting stuff up on your shop. So I don't know. I really love it. I'm in love with how much time it doesn't take and how much, <laughs> how much you can just knock it out and start the same day. So so we are going to 1 million percent link that for everyone below so they can have quick access to you if they are ready and sold as much as I am right now. They can just go click <laughs> it and get going. It's that's literally the best. Um, so what else? What What's the best place for our listeners to find you and connect? What else do you want to share with them? Right. Um, absolutely. So TikTok, obviously, I am most active on there. Um, Pinterest, you can find me as well, but it's just all my TikTok stuff. So I always say go on TikTok for the newest stuff that, you know, little videos that I'm releasing or tutorials. Um, I, my username is the same on everything. It's all Anastasia's templates, no matter where you want to look for me. So TikTok, Pinterest. Um, and then also, uh, Lizzie, I think I gave you the link for my new training. I have a free one hour training, which I just got done recording. I was so excited to release it. Um, so that has has tons and tons of info some of the stuff we've shared here a lot of new stuff as well so definitely if you're going to watch the the tutorial and the the training and the webinar make sure you have a pen and paper <laughs> or you're taking <laughs> notes because i don't the last thing i want is for anyone to feel overwhelmed i want you to get a lot of value in a short amount of time so yeah that's where you guys can find me if you want to Okay, awesome. And so we will link all of that below, you guys. I will make sure the free training is down there for you to grab. The course information is down there for you to grab. Her contact information so you can go follow her on TikTok and stalk her like I do. <laughs> Anastasia, we'll have to do this again because you are, first of all, you're a joy. And Thank I'm you. so glad to be in this space with someone so charming and high integrity and beautiful. I'm just, I love everything about you and thank you for being willing to do this. Like I, I think, of course, I think this is a special thing. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I loved getting to chat with you and I hope everybody else got some jam packed info and start your Etsy shop. Start mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Good start, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, lady, until next time. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys next week. And that's a wrap on this episode of How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you're looking for more resources, head on over to howtosellyourstuff.com where you'll find podcast show notes, all the links from today's episode, the blog, courses, coaching, and more. If this episode was helpful to you, awesome. The greatest compliment I can receive from you is a rate, review, and subscribe on this podcast. Not only will it allow us to connect again on a future episode, it lets me know I'm providing you with value and helps other people find this content more easily. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support. Have a great day and see you next time.